what we call the HPV vaccine. Of course, one of the challenges is that the cost of cancer treatment is very high. For one child, you need about 3 million shillings. Now, when you look at a, a population like Northern Uganda, pulling one, 3 million shillings, sometimes is not possible. One of the gaps we saw as a foundation was that there is little awareness about cancer in general. To date, we have reached over 85 schools. So we have realized young people coming up and forming a club. So when they form this club, we guide them. And it's normally a nine-man, they have a nine-man executive. So the nine executives are trained with the basic skills of mobilizing their fellow students, but also now planning on activities that will engage other young children within the school to be now able to champion the issues of cancer awareness. I think 2015, 2016, when this club was introduced to our school, the club of 3C, so that is how and when most of us got to know about cancer. Things to do with the tests and the rest were not carried out because we didn't have those people to tell us that go for the test. Cancer in children, people think cancer is not in children only, but cancers are there. We are seeing an increasing number of children with cancer at the Uganda Cancer Institute. We know very well that now cancer is number two in the causes in, as one of the causes of mortality among children following accidents in the developing countries. Put put size, make sure I'm size it, yeah, yeah.